Every day I wake up and get to work with some of Australia's most unique animals. And I'm so blessed to share my passion with thousands of people every year. Although my job, it's not your typical nine to five. Running a business and looking after so many animals is definitely a challenge. It's really demanding. You never switch off. You're always thinking about work. But at the end of the day, you take those animals into a school and see the kids' faces light up and teach them about these animals. It really just makes it all worth it. Passion is what drives me to get out of bed every morning. I mean, I think we've all been in a situation at one point in our lives where we've had a job that we didn't really enjoy or we hated. I've been a bricklayer, uh, I've been a builder, I've worked in fruit and veg, I've been in the army, but none of that was what I was passionate about. And I got given really good advice in my 20s, and it was, if you don't like it, don't do it. Follow your dreams, follow your passion. So that's what I did. Growing up, I always had the mentality that becoming a zookeeper was really tough. And I mean, it is, who wouldn't want to work with animals every day? It's, it's such a cool job. I've applied for zookeeper jobs and there was over 300 applicants. So it can be quite tough to get your foot in the door. But with relentless passion and drive, I mean, I just went for it. And after two years through study and volunteering, I ended up starting this business. And now I have over 100 animals at home and just love it. Some weeks I work 90 hours and not even really feel like I'm on the clock. Animal husbandry and uh, it, running a zoo is really demanding. Like the jobs never end. You'll clean something and two minutes later it'll be dirty again. But I mean, if the jobs did end, I wouldn't have anything to do and I'd just be bored. So it's sort of good uh, that reoccurring work it just keeps my mind ticking over and, and keeps me going. I love spending my days working with animals. Like if I'm not working with them, I just go stir crazy and after 20 minutes you'll find me sneaking in some work again. And the only way to really stop me is to get me out of the house. And usually when I go out of the house, me and the family, we're going to zoos or wildlife parks and checking out animals. So we don't really ever escape it and I don't want to. It's just a great experience and, and every day I'm learning. My passion for animals has consumed my life. And the thing about passion is you can't generally put it to rest. My brain's always ticking over, whether it's business or marketing or animals or enclosures, better ways I can look after the animals, husbandry practices, it never sort of ends. I want to be the best I can be, educate as many students as possible, give my animals the best quality of life, and one day leave this place knowing that I made somewhat an impact on animal conservation.